I do want to thank you guys. You guys have been great ever since we re first reached out to you. Um, I know you're a startup as well, and we look forward to working with you. And uh, especially, you know, thank you for the, the free beer. It's awesome. <laughs> Cheers to that. Um, so at, I'm, I'm Blake Henderson, a co-founder at Prime Wellness LLC. And um, at the risk of this sounding like it's totally amateur hour, I, I have my, my parents in the, the room tonight. So if you turn around and, and take a look at them, hold, hold up your hand. Uh, take a good look at them because this next part may have something to do with them. Um, so as our slogan might suggest, we're, we're heavily involved in, man, I got to work on my 10 word pitch, but um, wellness exercise, making wellness exercise accessible to everyone in a customized way, okay? So let's see here. Let me put that down. This guy. Thank you. Um, so seventh inning stretch. This is kind of the seventh inning stretch of the night, and I think we all know what we do in the seventh inning stretch. We, we get up. So you're going to have to get up. I'm going to need you to get up. I'm going to need you to walk around to the back of your chair. I know this is a little, you're going to need, the folks in the back, you're going to need you to kind of scooch back a little bit. Keep going back. Girls at the back table who've been, had their jackets on, you're gonna need to get up. <laughs> okay, so, so we're gonna take you through a balance exercise. Our first product is centered around improving balance, um, improving stability, and helping you prevent falls, okay? So I'd like you to, to do what, you know, just follow along with the video. Oh, wait. I'm gonna see. Hold on to something solid and place one foot directly in front of the other. Place one foot. Very good. Get tall. Once you have your balance, lift your hands up. This should be easy right now if you've progressed up from level four. Now slowly turn your head left to right. Nice and smooth motions, pausing at each end for just a moment to get your balance back. Very good. Keep on moving. Nice and smooth. Staying tall, trying to minimize your wobble. Very good. Five times each way. And then place the hands down, take a break for a moment, and switch feet. Very good. Once again, belly button in, shoulders back. Lift the hands up an inch and do those head turns. Very good. This makes it significantly more difficult because you're turning those heads, as I said before, you're taking out the visual field. People are often surprised how much more difficult this is. You also want to avoid shifting your weight too far forward or back, as I said. Okay. Thank you very much for holding on to that. So, so this is an example of one of our balance exercises that we deliver to customers. Um, d who, who found this really easy? All right, that's great. Did anyone, um, kind of, was anyone able to do it but kind of wobbled a little bit? Wobbled? Did anybody just outright just kind of fall over to the side? No one fell, at least. That's a good sign. Um, so I really liked what Mark uh, and David have been saying about not creating I've fallen and can't get up products. It should be about getting up and moving. And this is something that's not easy. This is level five of eight uh, in the program I'm about to demonstrate, and pretty much anybody could do it. So let's see here. So about us, uh, my brother is, is Matt Henderson. As you can tell, this is a, a family uh, affair at the moment. Um, my brother is a physical therapist. He has eight years practicing experience five years in orthopedics, three in home health, um, which he's doing now. He's the, the principal founder of Prime Wellness and, and our product derives from his experience in home health. Uh, I work for Veterans Affairs. I was very happy to hear the gentleman from Qualcomm mention VA. Uh, we have an innovation team there that pilots um, new modalities for, for healthcare and also new technologies. Um, and I could give myself a nice title like I'm VP of something, but I pretty much just follow in my, my brother's slipstream and make sure stuff gets implemented, okay? Let's see here. So the problem, I'm not gonna go into really the problem of falls. Um, falls, uh, aside from being extremely um, physically and mentally painful for patients and people and their family members, they, they impose a huge economic cost um, about $30 billion, according to the CDC in 2010. 
So what I want to talk about is the way, the way we're um, looking to confront that. First of all, we have online tools for people who are looking to prevent, excuse me, uh, yeah, online tools for people who are looking to prevent falls. Uh, they're static DVDs. Uh, they're very generic. Oftentimes they're poor quality. Um, in the real world, we have some great tools such as uh, home health care PTs, and there's also YMCAs that have some good programs out there. Um, but they're not as easy to access as you might think. Not, not everyone has a YMCA down the road, and not everyone can drive, first of all. Not, some people are homebound. Um, they're expensive, and you might say, well, I can have a, a home health PT come out to me for 15 bucks, but someone's paying for that. Like, you may be paying a copay of $15, but our health care system is paying a lot more. Um, let's see, let me catch my breath. <laughs> uh, time constrained. This is a, a, a key point. My brother's a home health PT. A lot of our product derives from his experience in home health, and he's essentially accustomed to spending six weeks with somebody, say age 80, getting them back on their feet, getting them well, and then what do you think when you're in that position you, you wave them goodbye? You think, this is a nice person, I really am glad I was able to help them. Unfortunately, I may be seeing them again in two years or so. And plus, they're still at a fall risk. So I think our product derives from Matt's desire to give people a, a discharge tool, give them something to bridge them over to, to total wellness. Let's see here. Thank you. I'm just not accustomed to the clicker. <laughs> Thank you. OK, so our solution is interactive. It's customizable. Um, I think. Matt's instruction is very professional. Uh, it's reasonably priced, and it's extremely accessible um, just about any time you want to access it. So I know you guys are all really excited to see what this is. So I'm going to show you. We just uh, did a, a soft release of this two months ago. Um, so this is very new. Let me see here. Okay, so you can see I've already logged in today. But essentially, we draw from eight exercise modules, and each day we produce five exercises for you to do at home. Um, two strength exercises, one balance exercise, and two um, flexibility exercises. As you go through the exercises, you can choose um, what level is right for you. So you can start on one, do it for 30 minutes, and then, you know, if you need something harder, just hit the harder button. And it'll take you right to that ne next exercise. As you go through the program, you're going to start finding the right level for you. And you don't have to do this every time. You can just log on, and the levels will be saved. So if you change it, they're going to be there, OK? Um, you're probably going to want to track your progress. People love feedback. So we have a basic. Uh, progress tracker that gives you points. People love points. People love games. Um, so that's what we're doing here. Um, a weekly planner. Maybe you want to get a reminder uh, in your inbox that I need to do this. Uh, so you can just click here and we'll send you an email. What else am I missing? Um, so that's, that's essentially it. There's not much to it. Um, and that's kind of how we've tried to keep it. Um, yeah, we just didn't want to overbuild the thing. I think there's a lot of features we can build. Uh, I'm going to move to my next slide now. How do I get back there? Let's see. So our near-term roadmap. Um, apparently, when you do a soft launch, um, you don't get a half a million hits immediately. So, so we really would like to raise our profile and do some outreach. Uh, Steven and Katie, you guys are helping a lot with just uh, the exposure here. Um, I think the keyword is is uh, let's go on. Sorry. We want to assess efficacy through a pre to post study um, over twelve weeks. So we're basically going to get a feel for how our program would would impact health outcomes over twelve weeks. Uh, we're looking for uh, fifty patients, so that's something we want to do. Um, we're going to be testing different product offerings. Um, so preventive health seems to be kind of like, like uh, an oasis in the desert that we can never get to. Um, it's it's kind of like, um, 
maybe people just kind of suck at preventive health, essentially. So we want to look at narrow reactive programs. Like say I have hip pain. So we can build a, a program um, really narrowly for, tailored for something like hip pain. Excuse me. Um, we want to mature the feature set. I think something that could be really good for us is to give the people the ability to set goals and also share that with people, um, like friends, family, uh, who would be supportive, maybe their physical therapist. Um, we really want to make it social. I think that would make it a lot stickier uh, product if we have something like, say, a leaderboard. Like, this person has so many points, and, oh, I didn't know this other person has points. We could form maybe exercise groups. So you could track progress with 10 other people. Um, make it mobile. We'd, our site's built on uh, HTML5 right now, so it's very conducive to uh, creating a, a mobile app. Let's see. Long-term roadmap. Um, Provider-facing features. I think something that could be really compelling is crossing over from um, being patient-facing to provider-facing. Essentially, um, maybe giving a PT a little app where they could just click five buttons, say, I want, my, I want my patient to do these five exercises. And here's their email address, and off they go. Um, my brother uh, says he would never do this. I keep telling him that in five to 10 years, he's going to have to do it, uh, because we don't have enough PTs to go around. There's 300,000 PTs in the US, uh, there's about 10,000 new PTs each year, and I think, as you, you all know, every, every day something like 10,000 people uh, turn 65. That's a very well-known stat. Um, recommendation engines. This is something the FDA is just getting into to regulating, essentially helping people diagnose their problems. Um, this would be something that would be, be great, I think. Um, prime wellness in your TV app store. Uh, essentially, in a few years, we're not going to have an app store just on our phone or TVs. It's, excuse me, not on our phones and computers, but our TVs. And this is something that would be extremely conducive to a, a TV app store. Um, and finally, Siri and Connect uh, API integration. I'd love to build into something like that. I need to breathe more. <laughs> okay, okay. Just really excited. Um, <laughs> So what we need, we really need help. If you dig what we're doing, uh, we'd love uh, to have some guest blogging opportunities, um, shout outs in whatever way. Um, we're really looking for study participants. Um, you can email us at there at that, that email address. Constructive criticism, if you want, shoot me an email. Tell us what you thought sucked about our presentation or what you thought was good. Um, advisory board members, we'd, we'd really be open to having somebody like uh, just getting an advisory board together. We're gonna try to do that in the new year. Uh, partnership opportunities, uh, I don't know how that got there. Um, future fundraising, um, so that crossed out is kind of a dig on the startup community. Matt and I feel like is a little too focused on fundraising being um, an end unto itself. Um, we do want to build a company. and We want to build something that connects with users. And so we would be interested in, in making relationships uh, with people who are, are interested in this space and share our values. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Um, before you go, so it's hard enough for me to get to the gym, and I'm sort of young and all meant to be proactive. How do you get people to keep coming back and using these things again and again? I mean, how do you curate this problem of engagement and adoption? That's a great question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think. I think the it's just gonna be hard. <laughs> Nobody else has solved it. That's why right, it's right, right, right. It's right. a really interesting question to work on, and you as much as anybody I, else can figure. I think for us, what we're gonna focus on is is segmenting the market. Uh, like this is a very broad tool, but it gives a, us a basis. And so if we could maybe start attacking some little segments, like like folks that get online are like, my mom just fell, or I just fell. I need something for fall prevention, like now. Otherwise, I'll be in trouble. That's our, our strategy is really kind of getting these little segments, conquering each one, and then moving on. So I think yeah, starting small. Awesome. Excellent. We are running low on time. So unless somebody has a burning question, I will uh, say thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Fabulous.